is going on y'all it's probably been a little bit since you've seen my face it's deer season deer season 23 picked up a redraw we're headed down there uh, should be pretty interesting i went down there uh, a few weeks ago just to mess around and, and scout and ended up seeing a few bucks pretty decent nothing like i've seen in there we're gonna um just give it a whirl do some ground game it's one of my favorite things is spot and stock we'll give her a shot stay tuned and uh good luck this season Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Who in the right mind wants to hunt South Florida? Well, in typical Florida fashion, we've got thunderstorms building in every direction. There's one to the north, the northwest. It's really building down south the most. Head straight west. I'm literally like in a horseshoe of thunderstorms right now. Radar shows that I'm gonna stay in this pocket till it's, it shows up to like 5:30. I should be in a pocket of no rain. So I'll take. I don't know what the hell the wind's gonna do now. It's it's in my face and at my back at the same time. You can't tell what you're hearing. What's up guys? It's John with Swamp and Stomp. I am on my way out to go scout. I got a hunt tomorrow. My cousin was kind enough to bring me as his guest. So he was able to get out here and do some scouting for himself. I wanna go, I'm gonna go figure out where I wanna hunt tomorrow. Going back to a semi-familiar area and we're gonna go find out what the sign looks like there. I will uh, keep you guys with me. I'm ready to kill a deer. 
Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe it, guys. I was all disappointed because super late getting in this morning and I show up to the tree and there's two bucks over here. A, a little bitty spike and a, shoot, I don't even know what it is. I looked at I don't have my stuff together this morning, so we, uh, we made a super terrible shot on him, but he was moving and I had no range finder ready to go. I had nothing ready to go. Nothing. Anyway, I don't even have sticks on the tree. But, uh, this nice little, oh, he's an eight. He's an eight. Look at that. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, what an awful shot. I mean, it's meat in the freezer, but not a good shot, but he's a good buck. Woke up late. It happens. I don't normally do that. It's the first hunt of the year, but I did. It was already shooting time when I got here to the tree and it all came together quick. I really wish I had got it on film. I'm gonna take the bike. I'm gonna go get my game cart. I'm gonna get this deer out of here. Hopefully my cousin shoots a buck this morning. We're tagged out and out of here. I hope so. Update. Between where I shot the buck and back at the truck here, Freddy shot a buck. So I gotta grab the game cart here. I'm headed back into the woods. We got him back to the truck. Gonna get loaded up. Go track Freddy's deer. All right, dude. What happened? So you're came, sitting. You're sitting that tree, right? Yeah, this pine right here. Okay. Buck came out from over here. This is an old rub, an old scrape, but I put some doe pee out. Um, he came up. He sniffed it. I didn't really have a shot. And then he walked to. You can see his tracks here. And he was like sniffing this little log, and I put the arrow in him, and he took off. So let's go find him. There's his tracks. There's a couple more there. He went through here. Hmm. Okay. See if we can find some blood. Well, no blood. We're gonna try to find a dog. We also gotta get mine gutted and skinned. Oh yeah, you shot a deer. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Tracker. Just got a few questions I want to ask you before we head out there. Uh, first, was you in the air or was you on the ground? I was up in the air. Up was the up in the air? Yep. How far was the shot? About probably 20 yards. Were you using fixed or mechanicals? Mechanicals. Mechanicals? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what was the deer's reaction when you shot? Uh, typical one, it jumped up and then just took off, you know, kind of bucked a little bit, just took off running. I watched it run about 40 yards in, maybe 50, and then it just cut. It came, came left a little, then it just cut straight east. Okay, So uh, and there was no blood or nothing? You haven't found uh, anything? We just, we just found trails. Just, okay, yeah. did you see where the arrow hit the deer? Yes, yeah. it was, uh, I think, just slightly behind, like a little far back on the vitals. We were thinking maybe, maybe liver. liver. We were thinking maybe liver, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we got enough time there, because it's being probably going on close to It was, we, I looked when I sent the text to him, it was just after seven this morning. Oh yeah, shot. well, we're, we're going almost nine hours at home, yeah. so we should yeah. be good. How far did you look for the deer after you shot? We only went in, well, we went in probably 60 yards, and then we decided not to. Yeah, keep, 50 maybe. Yeah. Okay, so, and you didn't hear the deer jump up or not when you walked out there? No, and I didn't hear it crash or anything when it went running, but. You know, I saw it until I couldn't anymore, basically. All right, well, it sounds good. Sounds like you probably got liver, maybe. Uh, what we'll do is, if we find like, liver blood or we hear the deer jump up or my dog keeps acting like it's jumping up, it was a long drive for me. So what I do is we'll back out, hang around for a little while. I won't go home and we'll come back out and look if we jump him up. If you jump him up, he's probably going to run a little ways. Okay. We might have to wait. All I ask is you stay behind me. You know, you have to stay real far, but a little ways behind me. Yeah, that's fair. Jack, do the work. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. And because uh, I know you want to film and everything, you'll know if Jet's pulling me hard. You know, you know he's on the truck good, and just before he gets the deer out, he'll throw his head up. And when he's made a winter tail start wagging, he'll yank you hard. Okay. That's when I know we're close to the deer. I'll tell you, I look for it. 
one of y'all looked for blood behind me while 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 we're walking. I'm stoked. All I've right. never watched a dog do this. So. All right. All right. Well, sounds good, guys. So let's go and see what we can do. He came out from over here. I was up in this tree. So right about here is where he he was standing when he shot. Fine. Those are his tracks There's right here, tracks. and he ran through Fine. that way. Ran through that way. Fine. There you go. You go first. I'm gonna film oh, yeah. this. I think this is a little far, but hey, I'm let the dog he's, do his he's thing. Going, he's ultimately going where I thought I saw him go. You know, sometimes you kind of veer off and whiff of the smell, find where the smell is the strongest at. Yeah. You see deer tracks? No, I've been looking for. Like oh, track. I see, I see oh, tracks. Track. Yeah. I'm not seeing blood. That's cool. Yeah, this is him. Yeah, that's definitely him. Um, it says 0.67 miles, but yeah, that's about 900 yards, 940. Close to three quarters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're letting the dog hydrate. We are uh, letting him cool down. He's feeling better today. I'm doing great, man. Mm -hmm. I'm just breaking with the dog. I've been drinking a lot. The dogs done went through what? Maybe four or five bottles of water. I do think we found one, one or two spots where the deer bedded down. Uh, we're going to give it a little bit more and see because we have seen his tracks. So, but no blood or nothing yet. No blood. I'm going to go a little bit further and then we're going to back out. Okay. So, dog's tired. Yeah. We didn't find it. We're thinking. We're thinking maybe we missed the liver. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We never ended up finding Freddy's buck. Bit of a heartbreak. It was a nice six. He said. He's only killed one buck and he was hoping for another one. He's still pretty new to hunting, but we're trying to teach him the ways. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he takes it as a lesson. Thanks a lot for Perry for coming all the way out to come track that deer for us. And it didn't work out, not his fault. It most likely was not a liver shot. It was still a good time in the woods and thanks for following along. If you guys are looking for any of our camo or merch, there's, there will be a link in the description. Also, if you are looking to save a little bit of money from our sponsors, we have a bunch of coupon codes that will also be in the description. Check it out. There's some good stuff in there. Can't wait to see you guys next time.